This is it, the season where the Breaking Bad universe goes meta with episode titles. Let's look at the meaning behind the title of each Breaking Bad episode in season two, which happens to include the moment Walt became Heisenberg. 737. $737,000, that's what I need. This is the amount Walt needs to get out of the drug business, although it has a double meaning that we'll discuss later. I thought your name was Heisenberg. Walter Hartwell White. Walt and Jesse get grilled by the man with a grill, <laughs> who also grilled some tasty burritos. Tuco doesn't survive this episode, which leads to the title of the next one. This refers to the harm Tuco causes Hank even after his death. <laughs> that gentleman is the grill of the guy I shot. It's an expression from the 1944 movie To Have and Have Not. Was you ever bit by a dead bee? You know you gotta be careful of dead bees if you're going around barefooted. Because if you step on them, they can sting you just as bad as if they was alive. Especially if they was kind of mad when they get killed. Jesse's down, literally, after his parents kick him out of his aunt's house. So is Walt after escalating tensions with Jesse. And Flynn. Who's Flynn? He's your... Uh... Flynn? Yeah. I made omelets. And also with Skylar. I'm going out, but thanks, though. Where are you going? Can you get the phone, please? Who is also feeling down. Everyone's just having a really bad time. Dude, it's called breakage. You think Tuco had breakage? I guess it's true, he did. He broke bones. He broke the skull of anybody who tried to rip him off. Hank also experiences some breakage as he deals with PTSD from the Tuco shootout. Peekaboo. Hey, you remember Peekaboo? Huh? Can you go Peekaboo like this? Huh? Can you keep your eyes closed? Just don't go back inside. This is Spanish for black and blue, and the title of the song played at the beginning of the episode, referencing Heisenberg's outfit and the color of his meth. Better Call Saul also had a black and blue episode, although in English. This episode ends with Jesse's black and blue TV as the song fades back in. Better Call Saul! We've covered episode 8 in a lot of other videos as it's the first appearance of Saul Goodman and the last words in this episode. Episode 9 begins with Walt getting a... Full pet. CT. But the results will take four days. The main plot is Walt and Jesse being out in the desert for four days. You and I need to cook through to next Tuesday. Tuesday, four days straight. Like the down episode, there's no great reason for this title other than finale foreshadowing. The big cancer concern is kind of over. Mr. White, you kicked his ass, yo. Jane's overbearing father comes over. Hey, yeah. A couple characters kind of say it. Mascal, talk about your hangovers, okay? <laughs> They're leftovers. We had a little get together for Walt. But I'm going to dedicate this one to Ted. We were happy, we were over the moon. Mandala is a Sanskrit word that references the circle of life in this episode, which begins with Combo's death and ends with Holly's birth. During Walt and Donald's chance encounter, they discuss the Phoenix Lander. Found water on Mars. Their chat indirectly leads to Jane's death, and in the next episode, we learn that Jane was born in Phoenix. Finally, the mythological Phoenix that rises from the ashes could refer to Walt and Jesse being back in the drug business thanks to Gus. We were on call, you junkie. On call for the biggest deal of our lives. Aircraft calling, say again. ABQ is the airport code for Albuquerque International Sunport. That's right, Sunport, not airport. We finally have an answer to the mysterious black and white flash forwards throughout the season that foreshadowed death, destruction, and that pink teddy bear. The four episodes that started with black and white and pink flash forwards had strategically chosen titles that make the phrase 737 down over ABQ, which was an additional clue about the shocking finale. I told you it's not ready yet. Honey, you just shocked. Look, look right there. Look, look at that. Total strangers. And, and look, and look what they're saying. Virginia, M Minnesota, Montana. Look at this one. Vancouver, all, all the way up in Canada. Oh my God, son, that's wonderful. Are those donations? No, I'm not asking you to donate to a Patreon or anything like that. All I ask is that you give a like and a subscribe so you can help save this channel. N isn't this awesome? That's wow. That is something. <laughs> Walt, hmm. 